Good afternoon. Sorry for the wait, but it is Washington, D.C. and the House of Congress. It's a people's house, so sometimes we get a little delayed. <laughs> um, we've had momentum over the last couple of years. I think this year, or this Congress, with the federal IT modernization effort through the passage of the MGT Act, the Modernizing Government Technology Act, we've gained strength and force. Um, this, now a law, is bipartisan legislation that will, for the first time, reward and incentivize federal agencies and CIOs to cut costs and invest in cutting edge technology. The effort also of modernization has gained momentum from Trump administration initiatives like establishing the Office of American Innovation, releasing an IT modernization report, and retaining good ideas from the previous administration, including the U.S. Digital Service. I am concerned, however, that in some areas we have lost momentum. We went too long without a federal CIO. I'm glad Ms. Kent is now in position and look forward to having her up here before the committee within the next few months. I'm also pleased um, that Ms. Weikert is in place as the Deputy Director for Management at OMB. I've spoken to my former colleague, Director Mulvaney, about our efforts here in the subcommittee and how we can work together to modernize government. He's, he's an enthusiastic supporter of using emerging technologies to make government more efficient and accountable. We need to rethink how we structure the federal workforce to ensure the federal government has access to smart, well-trained IT and cybersecurity professionals and be working in a bipartisan fashion, as, uh, as always, in introducing a bill in the coming months to establish a U.S. Cyber Reserve's public-private sector rotational workforce. I look forward to the witnesses' thoughts on how to best organize and structure this kind of workforce. And I also continue to have concerns about long-standing GAO recommendations that remain unaddressed oftentimes year after year after year. These open, lingering vulnerabilities put us at incredible risk, as we saw with the devastating data breaches at OPM, which is crazy to think it's almost three years ago. I want to hear from GAO the most critical open recommendations, and from the rest of the witnesses, concrete plans uh, to close them. Let's use this hearing to ensure IT modernization across the federal government continues even with more force and strength in, in 2018. Let's not lose the momentum. And as always, it's an honor to be exploring these very important issues in a bipartisan fashion with my friend, the ranking member, the one and only, the Honorable Robin Kelly from Illinois. Thank you.